Um, just to give you a wee talk about the program and we'll, we'll tell you what it is. Um, the program is a year-long program of service and leadership. Uh, basically what you do is you conduct 30 hours of service in your community before you leave sorry, sorry, um, can you hear me? America and then you conduct uh, no. 90 hours of leadership when you come back from America. So the program was started in 1995 leading up to the Good Friday Agreement. Um, its roots are in the Northern Peace Process and how to engage this, both sections of community um, together and to take them kind of outside of their comfort zones, take them outside of Northern Ireland and to bring them to America and to learn from American democracy, American civic society, American politics and, and to see how thing, things are done on a different continent. So it's all about leadership, development and service. Um, and we are taking between 36 to 40 third level students. So that's basically anybody in university. Um, this is, there is actually an increase in number of participants that we are taking this year. Um, because of an additional New York element, which I'll talk more about. Um, however, the key elements, so if you apply up to the Washington Ireland program, if you want to be a part of the class of 2018, what are you signing up to? So you're signing up to a 12 month program, and yes, a program is spelled P-R-O-G-R-A-M to kind of satisfy the American element and all this, but um, it's a 12 month program and it begins as soon as you're accepted onto the class and acceptance letters and emails are sent out around about February or March time. You do pre-departure and preparation. Um, my pre-departure preparation was held in Corrymeela in Ballycastle where everybody gets together from the class. It's a full weekend, it's intense. Um, you talk about current political issues, you get to meet some of our alum, um, you engage in debates, you talk about your background and where you're from and um, what you know about America uh, and you kind of just you know break the ice. You also have to do 30 um, hours of service in the community now. It'll be between 30 to 50 but it's roughly about 30 um, and that is just something that you might be engaged in in your local community. So uh, it may be a local political party that you're involved with, it may be a project that you're involved with the charity organisation and it could be really be anything but it just shows your dedication um, to where you live. You then have your pre-departure, as I said, mine was in Corey Mila. It's likely that I'll be there again this year. Um, and you meet some of our alums. Some of our alums include the current Taoiseach of Ireland, Leo Fragcar. We have Emma Pingelli, um, who's the MP for South Belfast, the current Lord, Lord Murr of Belfast, Leela McAllister. Um, we have the Chief's, Chief Advisor to the Secretary of State, James Brookenshire. And filtered among that, there are politicians as well, including... Claire Sugden, MLA, Chris Little, MLA, and Noel Rock, TD, and for Fine Gael in Dublin. But beyond that, there we, Washington Ireland invites applicants from right across civic society, so not just politics and not just law. Um, on my programme, there, there were students who studied media, uh, business, communications, sociology, criminology, um, and with a wide variety of entry. So it's not just a specific political and legal legal program but what we try to do in the program is we try to get out all the different elements of leadership and as I'm sure you guys know and, and many people know leadership takes many different forms and um, obviously politics being the main one that everybody looks to but it's it's the whole idea of um, leadership in all different sectors across society for um, business, music, uh, education, and, and right through. So this is the ethos of the Washington Ireland program is to bring together a group of between 30 to 40 young leaders across Ireland, create those bonds, create those links, get those discussions going and get you to challenge your own ideas and take yourself out of your comfort zone um, as well and talk about how you see the island of Ireland in the future.